Hey guys, Kevin from Subi Speed. We have our 2015 WRX in the air today and we're gonna be installing the Boomba Short Shifter. I know we all love going around fast in our WRXs, but sometimes it's the small things that make the driving experience even better. And that's exactly what this Short Shifter is gonna do for us. It's gonna reduce your shift travel by 30% and give you a shorter and more crisp shift experience when you're blasting through those gears. Now, a few people have been saying this installs a bit of a pain, so go ahead and grab a couple of your favorite drinks to have on hand. I have a, a few Red Bulls for myself to get through the install today, so hopefully I'm able to make this process a little bit easier for you guys. So, let's jump right in and get started. First step is gonna be getting your car up in the air and removing the heat shield that's held on by four 12 millimeter bolts. There's two in the back and two in the front. Once you have the bolts removed, you can remove this heat shield. Next, you wanna remove the four 10 millimeter bolts that are holding in the shift cover plate. Now you wanna take a flathead and pry off the side shift cable. Then you can disengage the locking clip and disconnect the main shift cable. Once these shift cables are disconnected, then we can remove the four 10 millimeter nuts that are holding the shift assembly in place. All right, now we can move inside the car and start working on the center console. First thing you wanna do is remove your shift knob. And then you're gonna want to remove the screws that are holding in your center console. There's two in your storage compartment under the fabric cover. And then there's one under the e-brake cover. Just pull up on the e-brake cover and it should pop off and the screws right there, go ahead and remove those. Once you have those removed, you can just pull back on your center console and it should pop off. Now to remove your shifter trim, you just need to pull back on it. Uh, you might need to use a little bit of force, but with a little bit of patience, you should be able to get it out. Then you can go ahead and slide it off. And now you have access to all these screws to remove the shift assembly. Now you wanna remove these two screws that are holding in the side trim. That allows you to release the side trim by pushing in this tab. Once you have that side trim released, you want to remove the four 12 millimeter bolts that are holding in the shift assembly. Once you have those bolts removed, there are two wiring harnesses that are clipped into the shift assembly. Remove those, then you can pull the shift assembly out. And 
here we go. Once you have the shift assembly removed, you want to remove these two screws holding in the wire harness brackets and also the 12 millimeter bolt that's holding in the neutral lock plunger. On the other side, you want to remove the 10 millimeter side shift arm bolt. You're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench on the back side to get that off, and also the 7 millimeter bolts for the shifter sub assembly. Once that nut's removed, you can push the bolt out. and get the side shift assembly off. Now that these two subassembly bolts are out, you can pull the shifter subassembly out. Once you have the subassembly out, you want to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts holding in the cover. Now you want to remove this O-ring. Then you need to get a punch and punch out that roll pin. Once you have the roll pin out, which was a bit of a pain, you can pull off the reverse lock out. Then you're able to slide the OEM shift shifter out. Now for the Boomba short shifter, you need a pair of snap ring pliers to get the snap ring off the short shifter here. And then you also need to remove this bolt here to get the, short, the uh, reverse lock out off. Once the reverse lockout bolt and the o-ring is removed, you can take the springs out and remove the reverse lockout. And you're going to want to grease up all the ball joints with white lithium grease before you install this into the shift assembly. Once you get all the ball joints greased up, you want to transfer over the uh, shift adapter from the OEM shifter onto your Boomba shifter and then you can reinstall this back into your shift assembly and then get the reverse lockout back on. All right, so we have the shift assembly all put together and reinstalled back into the car with the Boomba short shifter installed. And now all we have to do is get the trim reinstalled and we're set. We got our trim reinstalled and our shift knob back on and right away you can tell with the shorter shift it's definitely a great improvement over the stock shifter. The install takes a bit of patience but overall it's definitely worth the effort. So if you want to pick one of these up for yourself go ahead and click on the top right hand corner of the video. If you guys have any questions at all feel free to email us sales at subispeed.com or give us a ring 888-885-2002. Now as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your 2015 WX and SCI.